All praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakhakwadash. Double honors to the apostles of Elders of Great Millstone. Shalom, salutations to the hopeful elect that's fighting the good fight of faith and truth and sincerity and wholeheartedly. Shalom to the Aqwa, which is the women believers. Shalom to you. Um, Salaki, I'm a little under the weather, so hopefully I can get through this. But um, I want to talk about, you know, context, man. And understanding that we are in a dangerous time where there's going to be many false prophets. But if you stick to the scriptures, if you stick to the scriptures, it's really easy. So Proverbs 2 and 11 say discretion. Discretion is knowing what to do and what not to do. Comprehending. Being circumspect, knowing your surroundings, that shall preserve thee. Understanding shall keep thee. See, when you understand the totality of what we are in, a person like Ronald Dalton, he can't come in and knock you off your pivot. Because you have understanding. See, you got a lot of people who come into this thing and looking for that itch, as it's saying in the scriptures, you know. Heaping unto themselves of teachers, you know, having itching ears because, you know, our people love to hear anything that make us feel good because we are beat down as a people. We are under curses until this day till the Lord come back and remove us from the curses. Now, the blessing that he gave us within the curses is giving us understanding of why we in the curses and what we are about to enter into if we endure to the end. But you have to have understanding for that. So discretion shall preserve your understanding shall keep you. So that means nothing can knock you off your pivot. And what's that? Sirach. <clears throat> when or not with every wind and wind is talking about doctrines when or not with every wind and go not in every way for so do the sinner that have a double tongue and that's a person that's double minded James 1 and 8 say that a double double minded man is unstable in all his ways it say be steadfast in your understanding and let your words be the same so you can't you got a lot of people like, so I'm a comment board person. So if I, I watch videos, I go on the Men of the Lord videos, Great Millstone, and um, affiliates of Great Millstone, which I'm one of them. And you will see people that's on the Great Millstone comments board. And then you go watch a knockoff camp on their comment board. So they're double minded. So they give the Men of the Lord, you know, um, salutations but then they're going on another prophet's video and give him salutations that's being double-minded so it says be steadfast all right ten toes down for it is true if you really believe it and if you have understanding because i always tell people this too like you got a lot of people who speak against the scriptures that don't even know the scriptures, that don't even read the scriptures. They probably read <clears throat> all the feel good scriptures. Cause when you go to Christianity, that was a bona fide Christian before I came into the truth. That's all you hear is about the good scriptures, right? So that means that you missing half of the book. They don't, uh, Christian Christianity don't go into prophecy. Shit. These Hebrew Israelite prophets, most of them don't go into prophecy. Ain't none of them talking about the Karagma. Ain't none of them talking about Babylon the Great being destroyed. And then they definitely ain't talking about how we're going to be delivered, which is by the chariots. So context is very, very important. So if you have understanding, you automatically going to be steadfast. Can't nobody tell you something that would be like, oh, wow. I, I never knew that or, oh yeah, that sounds different. Yeah. And then if you, and then if you are one of those men who be like, yeah, I knew something wasn't right about, you know, we're going to say the truth for the, for the video's sake. I knew something wasn't right about the so-called truth that I be hearing from great millstone 
I knew it was something else. That's a double minded man. Because you acting like you down, but in the back you're doubting. So it said, Be ye not as the horse or as the mule, which have no understanding. That's a beast. All right. Scriptures talks about this, right? It said, but these talking about you Israelites who don't have understanding as natural brute beast made to be taken and destroyed, speak evil of things that they understand not and shall utterly perish in their own corruption because you are double minded. You heard the truth. You act like you're down, but you really ain't down. Then something will offend you because the truth is straightforward. Hebrews 4 and 12, the word is a double edged sword. All right. And it pierce your spirit because it's a living book and it knows all the ins and out of everything. So that means that you will hear something that will get um <clears throat> get under your skin. And now you offend it. Now you speak evil of the truth. So going back. It said, be ye not as the horse or the mule, which have no understanding, whose mouth must be held in with a bit and bridle, lest they come near unto you. So you have to be tamed. These people who are speaking, these false prophets that are speaking, they need to be tamed. Matter of fact, whose mouth must be stopped? What is that? Titus? Either one in 15 or one in nine. Let me try nine. That's a good scripture, but it's 15. <clears throat> so it says unto the pure, all things are pure, but unto them that are defiled and unbelieving, it's nothing pure, but even their mind and conscience is defiled. So, you know, one thing about people who don't have understanding, nothing that is true is true to them. It's always another way, you know, the world. People in the world deal with gray areas because you've been indoctrinated to be that way. You know, you got sayings like it's, it's, it's many ways to skin a cat. No, it's not. But you have sayings like that. And so you grew up with that mindset like, oh, it can't just be that way. See, the Lord is straightforward and straight is the gate. See, once you have understanding, you understand that this is not an easy thing to go through. It's not an easy thing. And it's truth. Remember, it's the total opposite of you. The truth is pure. You're not. You're defiled. See, but the Lord had grace and mercy upon you to give you this truth. So he gave you the spirit of understanding. And like I said, if you really understand these scriptures, you cannot speak against them. Because you go into the scriptures, look into the world and it's playing out. The earth is the stage. The Bible is the script. So 16. They profess that they know the most high, but in works, they deny him being abominable, disobedient and unto every good work reprobate. Ooh, <sighs> shoot. Getting a little lightheaded, sloppy. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, so like we got people out here, you know, who going to come on the scene. The Lord prophesied this, though. But the thing is, the, the, the point that I'm trying to make is that if you have understanding with him and strength, with him is strength and wisdom and the deceive and the deceiver are here. So what side are you on? So the Lord ordained this confusion. Oh boy, I think my son is up. So I'm gonna hurry up and end this video. But um, but yeah, so the point is, matter of fact, let me let me end it with this. Because my son is up. So it said that we henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine by the slight of men and cunning craftiness whereby they lie and wait to deceive. This is what's going on in the world. This is where Ronald Dalton is all about. He is compromised. Esau want this, uh, his doctrine to be out there because it gets away from who really the white man is. And then they trying to take away the northern kingdom, trying to make this a black thing. So hopefully, you know, I might have to do this video. Again, because I had some more scriptures, but my son is up. So hopefully this video is edifying and shalom.